All right, nerds. So let's look at unicellular and multicellular organisms. So these are your learning goals. Um, we really, by the end of this, we want to be able to understand the difference between a unicellular organism and a multicellular. But we also want to be able to look at or be able to describe the organization of multicellular organisms, how they are put together, so to speak. This is your vocabulary. If I could just get you to pause the video here and write this down so you've got it to refer back to as we move through the lesson. So here we have a unicellular or single-celled organism, it's a bacteria, and an animal, looks a lot like us, maybe it's a chimpanzee, who knows, um, which is a multicellular organism. So unicellular is all of life processes take place in the one cell, okay? And this can include things like bacteria, protozoa, and some algae. Algae are water-based plants. Some are multicellular, some are unicellular. So multicellular life, well, that tends to be our multiple cells. So you have more than one cell, basically. Um, and you've got organ systems which carry out all the life processes. Now, we have animals to plants. Um, they tend to be our multicellular and algae again comes of that plant. Uh, protozoa is very close to an animal uh, and some splits have them in one place, some splits have them mixed in with animals. So, But we'll call them a separate thing altogether. Now, let's, let's go back here for a sec. We see that here's our single cell and it's got everything it needs, right? It's all there. Together. And here's the animal cell. What animals? And what we focus on here is that there are different organ systems. So what that means is, when we look at a multicellular organism, the first thing we look at is cells, right? So here's a plant ant, and here's an animal. And we have differentiated cells, which means different types of cells. So with different types of cells here, different types of cells there. So the cells are smaller unit in life, and then we can get bigger to tissues, which are collections of a single type of cell. You'll see here, these are all nerve cells collected together. These are all your know, muscle tissues collected together, epithelial cells, uh, and connective cells. So a tissue is a type of cell that's connected together. And here we have the, I believe it's a palisade cell or leaf surface cell. We'll do the job. Uh, then we go to organs, right? So organs are things that work together. Here the organ is a leaf. And over here the organ is the kidney. Now the kidney are different tissues working together to, to do a job. But that organ is then organized into systems. So over here, we have the organ being part of the urinary system. And over here, we have the organ, the leaf, being part of the stem system. So that's pretty much everything above the ground on a plant. Um, and then we have the organism, which is multiple systems combined. So here in the um, chimpanzee, we'd have the urinary system, but we have the circulatory system, which is the heart and stuff the brain, um, which is the nervous system, and, and so forth. And plants, we have the root system and the stem system, and some other stuff. All right, so I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, put them in the comments just below, and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Uh, please subscribe and help you keep up to date with everything we're doing, and if you hit that bell, that'll allow you to you know, get a notification anytime some of the science videos pop up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.